See, HomeQuote Explorer lets you easily compare home insurance options so you can get what you need without overpaying. Yeah, we've spent a lot on this kitchen. Oh, yeah, really high-end stuff. Sorry, that's our ghost. Yeah, OK. It's more annoying than anything. Too bad there's mold behind the backsplash. Yep, there's mold. Well, then, let's see if we can save you some money with Progressive. Guess how much I originally paid for this fireplace? 23 bucks. Materials and labor. Just ignore him. You got bamboozled. There's only one way to make the impossible possible. That's a bit of cheating. There's only one way to smash your goals while smashing nacho cheese chips. You guessed it. Cheating! Woo! Yeah, it's cheating. And there's only one way to make a commercial with Kamel Nanjiani, even though he's currently competing in a triathlon in Hawaii. By cheating. Big on protein, low on sugar, huge on flavor. It's basically cheating. Quest, it's basically cheating. You're watching the Chipotle Basketball Nationals presented by the Army National Guard. New name, new city, same prestigious event that will crown the best high school basketball team in the nation. We're just west of Indianapolis in Brownsburg. And our first quarterfinal of the day in our boys tournament features the two seed Paul the sixth from just west of our nation's capital and the seven seed IMG Academy from Bradenton, Florida. So the winner of this one will meet either the three seed prolific prep or the six seed link academy tomorrow in the semifinals. Top seed in this event, Montford from Orlando, 30 and 0 on the season. That will cap off our day 8 Eastern right here on ESPNU. And we welcome you courtside along with ESPN's National Director of Recruiting, Paul Biancardi. I'm Ted Emmerich. This is the 15th year of Chipotle Nationals. We have seen the growth of this tournament firsthand into a can't-miss event. And this year, Paul, the talent is off the charts with nine McDonald's All-Americans. There's no other event like this in the country. We've had the most talent ever in this event right now with nine McDonald's All-Americans. And for the seniors, it's the last shot to get a title. We have plenty of talent on the floor in our first quarterfinal for IMG McDonald's All-American. Donovan Donnie Freeman on his way to Syracuse. And for Paul the VI, top 20 player in the country, Patrick Gongba returns from a foot injury. He suffered back in November. He had surgery. He'll be back on the floor here today. Paul, let's start with Freeman, a player who really helped himself at the McDonald's All-American game earlier this week in Houston. Yeah, he came off a strong week at McDonald's. Freeman's been one of the most consistent seniors in the country, averaging 15 points and eight rebounds. IMG's gonna need his inside-out game this afternoon, protecting the rim, scoring inside. He'll play his college basketball next year at Syracuse. For Paul VI, Patrick Gongba, the big fella is back, healthy and ready to go. A paint presence on both ends of the floor, outstanding hands. Scores inside with the jump hook. Paul the Six is going to need his inside presence this afternoon. How do we check out the starting five for Paul the Six? Now, Gongba will not be on the floor to start the game, making his return from injury. He'll come off the bench at around the midway mark of the first quarter, according to Coach Glenn Farello. As for IMG, Serta. A cuff, a dynamic scoring guard, a member of the junior class, Freeman, Ruths, and McCarty. McCarty headed to Houston. IMG in the blue, Paul the sixth in the white. First quarter final at Chipotle Boys Nationals is underway. Paul the sixth is led by number three with the basketball, Ben Hammond. He'll run the show, he'll score and defend. Big reason for their success this year. So it's Darren Harris, the Duke signee, one of the best shooters in the class, but he comes up short to start. You know, Paul, a big key for both teams. How do you handle the bowl-like preparation for Chipotle Nationals? Neither team has played in a month. They've practiced, they've rested, watched film, but there's nothing like game basketball. So the timing may be off a little bit. They've done a lot of scrimmage. Scrimmaging, nice move inside. And Roots with the tip in. Boy, bullied his way to the lane. 10 Division I players on the court to start this game. We might be saying that a lot today when <laughs> we tip off. Oh, Isaiah Abraham rechected by Chase McCarty at the rim. Just think about this. Eight ranked teams over 30 ranked prospects, including, as we mentioned, nine McDonald's All-Americans. 
A cuff, the top scorer in the Nike EYBL Scholastic League. Couldn't hit the floater. Here's Harris from inside the arc and off target. He'll get hot eventually, number 24 in the white, Darren Harris. Had a 52-point game in the regular season for Paul VI. McCarty, no. Offensive rebound, Ruths. And Acuff trains the three for a 5-0 IMG lead. He is a dynamic scoring guard who plays the point for IMG. As he facilitates and defends in this game, that's going to be so important for IMG. We know he can score. Can he run the team and defend the ball? Paul the 6th, 0 of 4 from the field to start. They haven't played in a month since March 4th. Garrett Sundra, no. Sundra headed to Notre Dame. Cole Serta, his future college teammate, with a pull-up three. And IMG's off to a blistering start. Don't forget, they were one of the hottest teams in the country coming down the stretch. It all changed in January for IMG. Now, IMG was 7-7 seven and seven after the Hoop Hall Classic on ESPN in mid-January. They have won 13 of 14 coming in. Hammond finally pulled a six on the board, and that's a three. I love number three in the white going to URI to play for Archie Miller. Just a consistent approach, a big-time winner and competitor. They cup the kick. Ruths knocks down a three. The third triple here in the first few minutes for IMG. IMG. Yeah, IMG is in sync. They're playing together. Looks like they just left off first week in March. Ruth's decommitted from Michigan after Jawan Howard was fired. He says he's taking phone calls, but will table his recruiting until after this tournament. Loose ball. And out to IMG. Well, you know the coaches are still going to call and text. Yep. And he told me IMG. I'm sorry, he told me Tennessee. Marquette have been on him real hard early. And here comes as Isaiah Abraham exits. Pat Gongba. Abraham's cousin, by the way, the 6'11 senior, part of the number one recruiting class on its way to Duke that features Cooper Flagg, the number one player in the country, who we'll see later tonight. And his Paul the Six teammate, Darren Harris, they're both going to Duke. Freeman on the drive and foul called. Now, Patrick Gungba, zero in the white. He's been out for a long time with injury. His body looks tight right here. He's done a lot of conditioning. Done a lot of, of basketball without contact. He looks ready to go. I, I have to assume, though, his rhythm and timing will be off. Kid has not played since he had foot surgery in November. We're talking about one of the best bigs in the class, and Glenn Farello, his coach, says he'll be on a minutes restriction. They're eyeing about 12 to 16 minutes in the game today. But someone like Gangba in this game and here at Chipotle Nationals, he's a difference maker. Farello said that in practice leading up to Chipotle Nationals, Gongba looked like the best player on the floor, and that's saying something with the rest of this team. That's 33 and two coming in. Oh, Gongba stepping out, and he can make that shot. He has improved his three-point shooting. We know he's a low post back to the basket threat. Acuff out of control, but he's fouled, and it goes against Jordan Smith top 10 sophomore in the class. I like the way IMG has come out aggressive but loose playing together. That was a big mark of their team down the stretch. They shared the basketball. They moved it uh, early in the season. A lot of over dribbling, a lot of immaturity, as Sean McAloon said. Uh, and then the intensity started to go down. But now it's picked up. Freeman fading and hitting. He opened the eyes of NBA scouts at the McDonald's game. You see the frame, 6'9", can shoot threes, got a beautiful mid-range game. Double-figure rebounder and block shots. Yeah, some of the NBA scouts that we talked to there in Houston are like, how, how tall is he again? Wow. And some of them said, who is he? Yeah. <laughs> and he can do this. Loose ball corralled by Smith, six to shoot. Harris tees it up. And Smith with another offensive rebound. Boy, you love Jordan Smith and his potential. And they need his energy now for an easy basket because right now Paul VI has not made many shots from the outside. Extra pass from Serta, and the three's knocked down by Roots, his second of the quarter. Well, he must have been working on his shooting for the last month. If Kenai Roots can make that, IMG is a different team. Ben Hammond with an answer for Paul VI.
Acuff guarded by Harris. See, I like the way Acuff gave it up. You know, he would over dribble early in the season, trying to think he had to do it himself. He's giving it up, he's getting it back, and now he's attacking. And missed it off glass. Jordan Smith pulls the trigger. And Kongbo with the offensive board. Open look for Harris, and he buries it. Just a matter of time for Darren Harris. One of the best shot makers in the class. 6'5", bouncy, great range. At times he can be inconsistent, but when he gets hot, you're looking at consecutive threes. The Gatorade Player of the Year in the state of Virginia, and also the WCAC Player of the Year, the Washington Athletic. Conference at a Catholic Athletic Conference, one of the premier high school leagues in the country. Yeah, think about the teams in that conference. Gonzaga, Bishop O'Connell, St. John's. Just a massive group of talent. Feed Gongba. Here comes the double team. And Gongba sweeping out of it, and he puts it home. Looked like Patrick Ewing on that play. Impressive mobility, again, coming off foot surgery as McCarty curls it home for IMG. <laughs> Running after the made bucket. Harris is fouled, sending us to an official timeout. So Paul the Six falls down big early and down five now. The Syracuse recruit, Donnie Freeman, screen slips, knocks down the mid range. On the other side. What's Nance doing now that he's not calling March Madness? Chuck has no fees or minimums on his Capital One checking account. But does he remember his pen? It's a swish. All sync. Hello, friend. You need a hobby. Norman, bad news. I never graduated from med school. But the good news is, Xfinity Mobile just got even better. Now, you can automatically connect to Wi-Fi speeds up to a gig on the go. Plus, buy one unlimited line and get one free for a year. I gotta get this deal. That's like $20 a month per unlimited line. I don't want to miss that. That's amazing. Mobile savings are calling. Visit XfinityMobile.com to learn more. Aww. Seven seconds for IMG. Can Blue Kane answer? Trapped, the turnaround for the win! He banked it home! Code Blue for Blue Kane! IMG wins it at the buzzer! One of the great moments in the 15-year history of Chipotle Nationals, the quarterfinals a year ago. Blue Kane, now a Georgia Bulldog with that half-court buzzer beater to knock off prolific prep. Sean McAloon, the coach at IMG Paul, has led this program for seven years now. They won the national championship here at the high school level in 2019, and they've won at least one game here now each of the last four tournaments. And how about that shot by Blue Kane? You mentioned it, Ted, on the call. He was trapped and shot it from half-court. That young man's had a good freshman season at Georgia playing for Mike White. They made the NIT. They won a few games. And he was one of the most improved players in the senior class last year. This year, it's Donnie Freeman. Darren Harris in and out for Paul the Six on the rebound for IMG, which Paul has become that destination for players like Blue Kane, who want to face the very best competition, especially as an upperclassman, a junior or a senior in high school. Yeah, if you want to play against the best on a daily basis, you go to a school like IMG or any of these schools in the EYBL Scholastic or Paul the Six or Columbus. Kareem Stagg muscles at home for IMG, the junior from Chesapeake, Virginia, coming in off the bench. He is a big-time specimen, 15 in the blue. Keep an eye on him. He could have a highlight in this game. Harris, no. And IMG on the run. Acuff, oh, Ben Hammond right nearby. And we're heading the other way. Acuff is like, wait a second. He kind of pushed me. He was right at my feet. It is a turnover. Well, we can't wait for the women's final four tomorrow night. NC State 
in its first Final Four since 1998, matching up with undefeated South Carolina. Then it's Page versus Caitlin, UConn and Iowa. And you've got the Burden Tarasi show back on ESPN2 and ESPN+. Plus. How do you pick between UConn and Iowa? How do you pick between Caitlin Clark and Paige Beckers? Yeah. How do you, how do you go against Gino? I know you don't want to go against Gino. I'm not but going against Gino at all. He's too Italian for me. How do you go against the magnificence of Caitlin Clark coming off a 40-point, 10-assist game in the Elite Eight? And her supporting cast is outstanding. On the other side, for NC State, they've had a fabulous season. In fact, NC State beat UConn in the women's game earlier in the season, but how do you bet against Don Staley in the defense of South Carolina? Can't wait to watch those matchups. Final eight seconds of the first quarter here. Paul the sixth down seven in the quarterfinals. Uh, Chipotle Nationals, Garrett Sundra, too much on it. And IMG won't get a shot off. Well, IMG had the hot start. Paul the sixth battling back. Seven point game after one here in Brownsburg. Phone call from the boss? Sorry. Outdoor time, it's me time. Ah, uh, I hear that. That's why we protect all your vehicles here. But hey, nothing wrong with sticking it to the boss. Oh, Flo, you gonna take that? Why would that concern me? Because you're the, aren't you the? Huh, we never actually discussed hierarchy. Okay, why don't we just stick to letting Dave know how much he can save when he bundles his home or auto with his boat or RV? Wait, I thought Jamie was the boss. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, cause I'm not boss material. Here's to a new feeling. where comfort follows your definition and every move feels weightless. Here's to unlocking absolute confidence. Chipotle Basketball Nationals presented by Army National Guard is brought to you by Chipotle. Real ingredients, real flavor. Chipotle for real. And the Army National Guard, the next greatest generation is now. Quarterfinal round here at Chipotle Nationals. Brownsburg High School just west of Indianapolis. IMG the seven seed up by seven. And they don't look like a team that hasn't played in 33 days, Paul. No, they don't. The deep ball is working right now for IMG. The shot making is impressive. But for me, it's the ball movement creating the open looks. IMG is in rhythm early in this game. Four for seven from three. Four of eight from inside the arc for IMG. And Kanai Ruths, one of the top undecided players in the nation, leads the way with eight points. You can tell they're in rhythm because they have five assists on eight made field goals. Not a, not a lot of one-on-one, -on -one, no over-dribbling. This is a completely different team than earlier in this season. Here's Freeman, one of the nine McDonald's All-Americans we have in the tournament this year, and he hits the turnaround. He is so comfortable in the mid post. I call it their Carmelo Anthony spot. Not the low post. He's a little thin and frail, but you put him in the mid post with some space, he's going to go to work. Freeman says Syracuse has always been his dream school. And Abraham is headed to UConn, hits the jumper. Paul the Six needs Abraham to attack more offensively, and he did that later in the season. Freeman again in that area, opposite side of the floor against Abraham. And how about the touch again? What do you do? You double him. You're going to have to run a second defender on the catch. And Donnie Freeman doesn't like the bump, but he handled the bump very well that time. It was under control and knocked it down. Impressive. You see his ranking now inside the top 20 in the class. Sundra right down the chute. That's his role for Paul the Six, and that'll be his role at Notre Dame. Freeman now from three. If Freeman can make the three-point shot, you want to keep him outside as much as possible because when you have six, nine, and footwork and touch, he just squeezed it off. With a look to Paul the Sixth on the bench and saying, you may have to double me, fellas. And he's got the physical gifts. He's got a face-up game. He's got soft touch. I love his footwork. Played for team takeover. Uh, won the Peach Jam Championship. 
he continues to make improvement throughout the course of his career. Jordan Smith knocks down the jumper for Paul the Six. And the funny thing with Freeman, you mentioned it, winning the Peach Chain with Team Takeover, as he battles against Isaiah Abraham, Abraham was his teammate for Team Takeover at the Peach Jam. All the guys on Paul the Six was his teammate. Darren Harris played for Takeover as well. Freeman now over Sundra, another one of his Team Takeover teammates. Loose ball. And it belongs to Paul the Sixth. What I love about Donnie Freeman is he never looked for attention. He just kind of chased improvement. Big difference. You know, he never never thought he was more than what he was. Sean McLuhan says he's a great worker. They've allowed him to face up. They've worked with him on his offensive skills facing, and he was always good in that mid post. Gogba's doubled again. Can he maneuver out of it this time? Yeah, nice dribble out and pass over. Smart play. Smith. Drills the triple. Well, Patrick Gungba gets the hockey assist on that. Got it to the top of the key, and then Harris with one more. IMG was up 11 early on, now a one-point game. Akoff against the bigger Abraham. Smith with the deflection and the steal. Numbers for Paul the sixth. And Darren Harris gives the Panthers their first lead. And Amari Allen is fouled by Abraham. Jordan Smith for Paul the sixth, causing all kinds of problems right now for IMG. The steal, the push, Darren Harris with the rest. Now this team has big time scoring punch, Paul the sixth. They're terrific in the half court with their cohesiveness. But they guard you as well as any team in the country. And Jordan Smith is a catalyst for this team. He, he plays with so much heart, so much energy, and it starts on the defensive end. And Paul, remember, last year Smith missed this tournament with a broken wrist. That absolutely altered who Paul the Sixth is. Cardi misses the three. And here comes Paul the Sixth. And Jordan Smith will play point guard with Ben Hammond on the bench. Now the pull up over Acuff. Acuff, a blur. And swatted at the rim. It's a goaltend. Jordan Smith got it on the way down. And that's what Darius Acuff does. He is outstanding in transition from defense to offense. He's got the burst of speed to push it. Scores with natural instincts. He can score one on one. He can score one against two. He's great in the open court, and he can knock it down behind the arc. He's a really hard guy to play against. Big reason he's a top 10 junior in the country. Foul away from the ball here. Looks like it'll be on Kanai Ruths of IMG. I thought Sean McAloon made a great point to us this week. With Darius Acuff, it's all about how he responds to difficult times. Early in the season, you know, his body language wasn't very good, in my opinion. And sometimes he would pout on bad plays or turnovers. Uh, but it seems like he has grown up this season. And another foul here as Harris hits the floor along with Ruth. So back-to-back -back personals on Ruth, number 33 player in the senior class. You know, the other thing about Acuff, Sean McAloon said, hey, we had some hard individual film sessions. McAloon said, Darius, you can't do everything by yourself. You have to be a point guard and trust your teammates. And the best thing Sean McAloon did for Darius Acuff, he told him the truth. And when you tell someone the truth, you make them better. Harris, that's pure. Pull the sixth back on top. He's just a scoring machine that's ready to get going. He's going to score a lot of points at Duke over his career. Seven points for Harris. Missed a few early, but now starting to feel it. Here's Acuff against the sophomore Smith. The skip, Ruths for three. Offensive board by Amari Allen. Acuff and Ruths with the tip in. Well, that's a big part of his game, Kanai Ruths. Get on the offensive glass and attack. IMG doesn't need to settle for threes now. They made them early. They can't fall in love with them throughout the course of the game. 
That was Ruth's first bucket of the second quarter. He's got 10 in the game. Air ball from Smith. Harris, they're lurking. And Harris can't pay it off. Got it back, though. And Jordan Smith hammers it down. Finally, Paul the sixth scores. Just a gorgeous pass by Harris. How about Smith with the pump fake? Goes to the other side. So back and forth on the seesaw here late in the half. Winner of this one meets either Prolific Prep or Link Academy in the semifinals tomorrow at 2.30 Eastern on ESPN2. McCarty headed to Houston on the drive. Here's Ben Hammond on his way to Rhode Island. Abraham. Bullseye. That's a three. And Paul the six starting to make it happen on the offensive end. Just a matter of time. As you mentioned, Ted, guys are off for almost a month. Timing, rhythm, cohesiveness, game reps. Takes a few minutes to get it all out. A cuff, the kick, and Freeman with the triple. Like that shot by Freeman. Came from the penetration to the corner. So Freeman coming off the McDonald's All-American game Tuesday in Houston with nine. Abraham back-to-back -back threes in the corner. He loves that right corner. That's two in a row. Freeman, oh, trying to bounce it off Abraham, and he missed out of bounds to Paul the sixth. Ball the sixth is smoking offensively right now. Little step back by Darren Harris. And how about this play? He throws the dime to Smith. See, Home Quote Explorer lets you easily compare home insurance options so you can get what you need without overpaying. Yeah, we've spent a lot on this kitchen. Oh, yeah, really high end stuff. Sorry, that's our ghosts. Yeah, okay. It's more annoying than anything. Too bad there's mold behind the backsplash. Yep, that's mold. Well then, let's see if we can save you some money with Progressive. Guess how much I originally paid for this fireplace? 23 bucks. Materials and labor. Just ignore him. You got bamboozled! Norman, bad news. I never graduated from med school. What? But the good news is, Xfinity Mobile just got even better. Now, you can automatically connect to Wi-Fi speeds up to a gig on the go. Plus, buy one unlimited line and get one free for a year. I gotta get this deal. That's like $20 a month per unlimited line. I don't want to miss that. That's amazing. Mobile savings are calling. Visit XfinityMobile.com to learn more. Huh? Action-packed April rolling on tomorrow here on ESPN with the women's Final Four starting at 7 Eastern. Sunday Night Baseball, the Astros and the Rangers, Lone Star Series, and ESPN Hockey Night features the top teams in the Western Conference. Top-seeded stars take on the Avs. And we welcome you back to the Chipotle Basketball Nationals presented by the Army National Guard. Our first of four quarterfinals here in the boys tournament featuring eight of the best high school teams in the nation. Paul the sixth, the two seed from the DMV up by four over Sean McAloon's IMG Ascenders. IMG was up by 11 in the first. Holy, Paul the sixth has drained four of five threes here in the second. They started three of 10, they have settled in. Yeah, they were cold early and defensively they were solid, but offensively they were cold. They're starting to function, play with continuity. Don't forget this team won the WCAC and they've won 33 games this year. Oh, nice feed, Hammond to Abraham, could not finish. And here comes Donnie Freeman. And that's the impact Donnie Freeman has to have. Rebound it and push it. And forget about the three from Cole Serta, mm -hmm. offensive foul. It goes against Amari Allen, trying to free up Serta. It's the second on Allen, the junior. Now you mentioned Paul the Sixth, 33 and two on the year. The only two losses to Montverde and Columbus, both of whom we'll see later today here at Chipotle Nationals. And, and this team won, was it 31 games last year? So you're looking at 64 games yep. over two years. This team knows how to win. They're so well coached as IMG is as well. 
Both of these coaches, Sean McAloon, Glenn Farrello, they know each other from the WCAC. Now, Jaquan Womack picks up his second, heads to the bench for Paul the sixth. Yeah, Farrello in his 17th year at Paul the sixth. Sean McAloon, IMG's head coach, formerly in the WCAC at St. John's College High School. Nice cut, a cut. Freeman found him. Couldn't finish. No, great action by IMG to the elbow and the back cut. Hammond cut off and fouled by Kanai Ruths. If it's on Ruths, that's his third. It is. Okay, bookmark that. 35 seconds left in the half. All right, we're just getting started here at Chipotle Nationals. Winner of this one meets either prolific or length, the 3 6 matchup. That's at 6 Eastern here on ESPNU. Of course, Columbus with Cameron and Caden Boozer, sons of Carlos Boozer, taking on Lou High. Montverde and AZ Compass close out the night. Yeah, this next game, the 4-5 matchup with Lou High and Columbus. Cameron Boozer, VJ Edgecombe, Darren Harris. Feeling it right now for Paul the Sixth. You know, so, he doesn't let the last shot or a cold start affect his game. You notice he started out missing shots, kept shooting with aggressiveness. Shot clock is dark for Acuff and IMG. Now watch him try to shake and bake. He may go all the way himself. Got a little screen from Freeman. Now Abraham handles Acuff on the switch. Deflected by Hammond. Still IMG ball, 3.2. A lot of time right here. Last possession, they went baseline out of bounds. They got Freeman on a little elbow slip for an open jumper. Into Serta. Short. And that brings the first half to an end. So a slow start for Darren Harris and Paul the sixth. But they find their rhythm. And PVI up by six at the break here in our first quarter final. A 10 to three run, in fact, for the Panthers to close out the half. Coming up. We will look back at the McDonald's All-American Game, which featured Donnie Freeman and many others in this tournament. We welcome you back to the Chipotle Basketball Nationals, presented by the Army National Guard. Brownsburg, Indiana hosting this great tournament for the first time, now in its 15th year, first boys quarterfinal. At the half, Paul the Sixth up 37-31. Glad to have you back with us, along with Paul Biancardi. I'm Ted Emmerich. By the way, happy National Burrito Day. Speaking of Chipotle, I saw you handle up on some chicken al pastor before the game. Had a couple before the game. Feeling good right now. <laughs> that's, the way, that's the way we start our quarterfinal Thursday here at Chipotle Nationals. A tale of two quarters in that first half, right? Just Paul the Sixth was able to come back from down 11. Yeah, IMG come out hot in the first quarter, making the three. But in the second quarter, Paul the Sixth made four threes in the they scored seven points from turnovers. They were outstanding. Well, for IMG, Donovan Freeman, the McDonald's All-American, was certainly a standout. He's four for five overall. You have to play to him and through him the rest of this game. If he doesn't score, he'll facilitate, but he loves the mid-range game. Capable from three. He's got to score maybe a little bit more inside. But on the other side, Paul the Six, they came out cold offensively. Their defense started to score. They were making threes. They nailed four in the second quarter. Darren Harris plays with supreme confidence. We take a look at the first half stats brought to you by the Army National Guard. Yeah, the slow start for Harris, but he's got nine. Freeman efficient, nine points and three rebounds. Leading score in the game is Kanai Ruths, 11 in the blue for IMG. He's got 10, but again playing with three personals, trying to challenge Isaiah Abraham, and Abraham missed the shot. A yeah, good set play by Paul the Six to get it inside. Good defense by IMG. Jordan Smith, the sophomore, also with nine points for Paul the Six. Inside Roots, and he's got a dozen. Now Roots that time, he just set a screen. He slipped right to the basket with aggressiveness, caught it on the go. Great finish. You see the ranked players for Paul the Six against Smith, top 10 in his class as a sophomore. And Darren Harris, a ranked player in the senior class, knocks down the three. Yeah, his water is starting to boil right now. Ruth slashing in. And Harris comes up with it. He's always in attack mode, Darren Harris. Pulling up. Give it to him. Back-to-back -back triples. 
With the ball in his hands, he's thinking about scoring, and if he can, he's gonna try to find a way to get an open pocket of space. That time just pulled up comfortably in transition. Now Hammond, the steal. And Ben Hammond, too much on it. Acup, the floater, rattles in. I like the play by Acup. One thing if you're IMG, you're making threes, that opens the floor. Don't settle for threes, attack off the bounce. Harris, one more, he's fouled. And Chase McCarty's incredulous. Harris headed to the line for three. Darren Harris has supreme shot preparation. That means his feet, shoulders, and release are all in a straight line. He's got great vision to the basket at 6-5. On the catch, he's ready to shoot. Now the Gatorade Player of the Year in the state of Virginia, well-deserved for Darren Harris. You know, when he starts to get hot, like he is right now, you have to take away his airspace, get a little bit closer. You have to break his rhythm. Because right now, everything in his mind is going in. And when he gets hot, he's capable. You mentioned it at the beginning of the game. Can drop 40 in the game. Had a 52-point game in WCAC play in the regular season. Paul, he committed to Duke almost two years ago, October 22nd, 2022. He's the first member of his class to commit to John Shire. He says, it was always my dream school. And he says that Shire has compared him to the likes of J.J. Redick, Luke Kennard, and Grayson Allen. He can be a little bit of all three, but be in the Hall of Fame at Duke. He has all nine for PBI here in the second half. McCarty the drive and a foul. And that's what IMG has to do more of, the hard, aggressive drive. Why? Because the defense of Paul the Six, they're going to respect the three-point shot right now. IMG has made five in this game. Put it on the deck, put Paul the Six in rotations, and then look for your bucket. Harris got called for the foul as first. And Donnie Freeman against his summer teammates at Teep Takeover, one of them Garrett Sundra. And after the drop-off, foul is called. You know, Darren Harris is one of those kids. You mentioned he was one of the first commits, or the first commit for Duke. And they have the number one class in the country. They have a stack of talent. Doesn't bother Darren Harris whatsoever in terms of bringing in other talent. He wants to play with Isaiah Evans. He wants to play with Cooper Flagg and company. Donnie Freeman is on his way to Syracuse. He is the highest rated recruit for the Orange since Dewan Coleman in 2012. And Freeman says, I picture myself like all the great Syracuse forwards, a guy who can do everything on the floor. He has the profile, long and athletic, skilled on the offensive end. They also have Elijah Moore coming in, a sharpshooter from New York. Harris off the mark for the first time here in the second half. And last touched by IMG. I mean, Donnie Freeman with, with development and consistency over his time at Syracuse, uh, he's headed towards the NBA draft someday. He moved up almost 20 spots in the rankings when you updated those in late January. Yeah, he was in the late 30s, moved inside the top 20, and was named a McDonald's All-American. Abraham with a strong take. It's all based on his productivity level. It's been sensational this senior season. Acuff ran into Abraham. Now Freeman has the height advantage on Smith. Couldn't bank it in. He's always had the upside, Donnie Freeman. Now he's putting the upside with the productivity. And you love Ben Hammond. A three to match his jersey. Timeout IMG as Paul the Sixth has built its largest lead. Give me some Ben Hammond. This guy is just full of energy. And he wants to attack and win. And when he's open, he's going to make you pay. Paul the sixth with its biggest lead here in the quarterfinals at Chipotle Nationals here in Brownsburg, Indiana. Ted Emmerich, Paul B. and Cardi, our entire crew. Patrick Gongba. Top 20 player in the class on his way to Duke with this bucket in the first half. This is his first game since foot surgery back in November, and he is our player spotlight brought to you by Chipotle. 
Let's check out the order here on National Burrito Day. He prefers the bowl. White rice, black beans, double chicken. There you go. Max protein for the big man, Pat Gongba. That's because he gets double doubles in the game, so he needs a double order of chicken. I like the sour <laughs> cream and lettuce at the end. He is a big fella who's made great progress over the years. It's, it's been very noticeable. Most likely would have been voted into the McDonald's All-American game had he played this season. He's got a joyful personality, and he's a great teammate. Everyone at Paul the Sixth speaks so highly of Patrick Gongba. Did you notice he goes tortilla on the side, too? That is a pro order. Now, if you got a little guac on the side, that's making it spicy. <laughs> Can I Roots? Oh, he flips it in. Can I Roots has been very effective in this game, both inside and out. I like his activity. 14 for Roots. He's playing with three personals. Sundra against Roots. Now Hammond. Who hit the three to force the IMG timeout. And good defense from Acuff. Abraham, look what he found. Yeah, the team defense by IMG is starting to break down in this quarter. Acuff hasn't shot it well all day. Maybe that'll help the bucket and the foul. Anytime he sees space, Darius Acuff, that's a problem for the opposition. Straight line drive, nice body control at the end. Young man out of Detroit, Michigan. Just super talented and gifted when it comes to the offensive side of the game. He's a terrific passer. He just needs to continue to learn how to, when to pass, and balance that in with his scoring. See, he has been offered by those schools at the bottom of your screen. He has visited Kentucky and Michigan. Now, that was when Jawan Howard was still the head coach, of course, early in the season. Check out the crossover by Acuff. Left to right, right to left. You know he loves to go left, so you want to sit on, meaning you want to force him to go right. Sit on his left hand. Make him put the ball in the deck with his right hand and make the same move. Maybe not as effective. Gongba back on the floor, and he's got his second bucket. Great play by Paul the Sixth. A little line up top, but they isolated Gongba in the post. Donnie Freeman, a terrific offensive player, but doesn't have the girth and the strength to hang with the big fella. Listed at 250 pounds on that 6'11 frame. Donnie Freeman again with the range. So Freeman has 13. Harris with the floater. What a huge third quarter Darren Harris has put together. He's got 11 in the period. And an offensive foul now on IMG and Acuff. Watch how deep Patrick Gongba is in this position. He is two feet in the paint. You give him the ball inside, doesn't matter who's there, he's going to finish. Two I'll feet in the paint, that's what the coaches want on the offensive end. I like that you have shapes to play with this week. We, we have circles, we have squares, <laughs> we have lines. I feel like I'm back in first grade. Jane and I. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, Jane could help you out with that. Your daughter is a genius. <laughs> Don't know about that. She is a first grader, loves shapes and math. Oh, Darren Harris loves some math, too. How about three more for the future Duke Blue Devil? Now, the offense for Paul VI is in great rhythm, so for IMG, they have to do something to break that rhythm. Get a little tougher on the ball. Help each other out more. Now, Harris, the elevation! Darren Harris, pour gasoline on him, why don't you? Paul the Sixth has thrown the knockout punch in the third quarter against IMG. Their offense is clicking on all cylinders. No pressure on Darren Harris, he's gonna put it up. Yeah, cut my hair after the game. How about the dunk finish by Harris? We know he can drain jumpers, but this guy will score buckets on top of the jump shots. And he plays with great offensive confidence. And he keeps playing. And the last possession or the last miss, 
does not affect the next one. This is the type of guy John Shire can play with. He can lose with him and win with him. You know, a lot of guys you can only win with. They're front runners, not Darren Harris. I mean, you can lose with this guy, and he's going to make you better as the season goes on. So a 7 nothing run for PBI, and Harris with 16 of his 25 points coming here in the third quarter. And how about his facial expression? Very stoic. Makes a three, drops a dime, finishes a dunk. He gets excited, but he's so locked into the game. As I mentioned, he's thinking about what's next. He's a mature player. IMG's got to really get connected defensively, and they're going to get blown out. On the run, Abraham feeds Gongba. You know, Glenn Farello says his team's mantra is we are a 10-0 run waiting to happen. They're on a 9-0 run at the moment as Acuff misses another three. They'll be like Connecticut with a 30-0 run. Against Illinois. No, it's a 12-0 run as Darren Harris says, I'm putting IMG to sleep. Starting to feel like UConn in here. 28 for Harris, 19 in the quarter, and a foul on Paul the sixth. Watch the fundamentals by Darren Harris. Looks up, throws it ahead. Give up to Gangba. Ball only touched the ground very little bit. And then this time comes right back with the three-point shot. This team is strong defensively. They, they play together defensively. There's a lot of talk with Paul the Six in terms of who's got the ball, who's helping. It's great to have Big Gongber in the back. It's an active team defensively. Now they're scoring off their defense. They're making threes. They're blowing this game wide open. They'll meet the winner of our game at 6 Eastern, either the three seed prolific prep from Napa, California, or the champion of this event a year ago, Link Academy. I say reigning champion, not exactly a defending champion because it's a brand new team for Bill Armstrong. Plenty talented again, though. The first of four boys quarterfinals. Harris, one more. Not this time, but Sundra with the offensive board. And Hammond slices in for two. Beautiful pass by Sundra. And you got to love Ben Hammond. Moving without the ball, a simple basket cut gets him two points. So Hammond in double figures with 11. Paul the sixth has outscored IMG 32 to 13 here in the third. Gerard O'Keefe misfires. Hammond on the run again. Smith finds the cutting Sundra. And Abraham too strong. Paul the six made a bunch of good cuts. Oh, the quick hands. Ben Hammond with an easy two again. Not a tougher guy in this game than Ben Hammond. Maybe the smallest, but he is the toughest. How about the alertness on the inbounds? McCarty. And here comes Hammond again. Garrett Sundra to the top floor. Paul the sixth has owned the third quarter. They've been great defensively, Paul the sixth, but they have been so sharp on the offensive end. Roots fouled before the putback. Well, keep your eye on number three in the white, Ben Hammond. Just waiting on the ball, gets nice and low, picks it clean finishes. This time he gives it up to Sundra. Young man headed to Notre Dame. They have a top 20 class. So Glenn Farello told us a story about Hammond earlier this season that John Calipari was in PBI's gym looking at Patrick Gongba before he committed to Duke. And so Cal sees Ben Hammond and says, where is he going? Farello tells him, uh, Rhode Island. Calipari calls Archie Miller and says, Archie, Ben Hammond is now down to Rhode Island in Kentucky. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> He's got a little Tyler Eulis in his game. Abraham misses in the final seconds of the quarter. And Paul the sixth 
closes the third on an 18 to one run. Darren Harris catching fire. We're on our way to the fourth. Wow. Incredible, isn't it? Yeah. Well, with your home, auto, boat, and RV all bundled with Progressive, you've got the peace of mind to really wander. Yeah. Yeah, I just hope it stays this way. Once word gets out about these places, they tend are to... Are you done? And there it is. What? Well, at least your vehicles are protected. Let's hit the road. Hey, fam. I am just at this beautiful lake that I just discovered, practicing gratitude, manifesting abundance. Norman, bad news. I never graduated from med school. What? But the good news is, Xfinity Mobile just got even better. Now, you can automatically connect to Wi-Fi speeds up to a gig on the go. Plus, buy one unlimited line and get one free for a year. I gotta get this deal. That's like $20 a month per unlimited line. I don't want to miss that. That's amazing. Mobile savings are calling. Visit XfinityMobile.com to learn more. Aww. We welcome you back to the Chipotle Basketball Nationals presented by the Army National Guard. Ted Emmerich, Paul Biancardi, our entire crew. Paul the sixth blowing it open in the third quarter. Well, tonight on ESPN and the app, we've got the NIT Championship game at 7 Eastern. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Robbie Avila in Indiana State taking on Seton Hall at a sold out Hinkle Field House. It's not too far from where we are here in Brownsburg. Then in Phoenix, the 35th annual College Slam Dunk and three point championships at 9 Eastern. Great matchup. Two number one seeds, Indiana State, 32 games they've won this year. They win one more, they tie a school record of 33. Last time that happened, you know who's on the court for them? Larry Bird, the man from French Lick. I'll tell you what, this year Robbie Avila has become a sensation. I love all the nicknames. Larry Nerd, <laughs> Steph Flurry. <laughs> Smith comes down with the rebound. Ruth's hit the deck. Foul is called. It's hard to imagine they dropped, what was it, 100 points against Utah? Yeah. They got six guys that average double figures. I'll tell you what, both Indiana State and Seton Hall had great cases to be in the tournament. They were two of the first four left out by the committee, but they can hoist some hardware tonight just yep. across town. Yeah, what a venue, Hinkle Fieldhouse. Donnie Freeman, the McDonald's All-American, lays it in for IMG. So Paul the sixth was up 37-31 at the half, and they outscored IMG 36 to 13 in the third quarter. Yeah, they outplayed him in the third quarter on both ends of the floor. Their defense was more intense than IMG's. Their offense was spaced. It was unselfish. Combination of threes, cuts, post-ups, and IMG started to cave in defensively. How about this? Paul the sixth just committed its first turnover of the game. And Donnie Freeman splashes in the three. Well, you take a turnover, you turn it into a three, maybe there's some energy and life left for IMG. Back-to-back -back turnovers for the Panthers. And Amari Allen, Acuff with the putback. Good job with the press. That time IMG had a trap, they forced the turnover. So a timeout for Paul the sixth as IMG tries to mount a comeback. What's Nance doing now that he's not calling March Madness? Chuck has no fees or minimums on his Capital One checking account, but does he remember his pen? It's a swish. All sync. Hello, friend. You need a hobby. Norman, bad news. I never graduated from med school. What? But the good news is Xfinity Mobile just got even better. Now, you can automatically connect to Wi-Fi speeds up to a gig on the go. Plus, buy one unlimited line and get one free for a year. I gotta get this deal. That's like $20 a month per unlimited line. I don't wanna miss that. That's amazing. Mobile savings are calling. Visit XfinityMobile.com to learn more. Aww. Chipotle Basketball Nationals presented by Army National Guard is brought to you by Chipotle. Real ingredients, real flavor. Chipotle for real. And the Army National Guard, the next greatest generation is now. Here in Brownsburg, Indiana quarterfinal round. And 
Just our first game of the day in the boys' bracket. Paul the Six, the big lead on IMG. They'll play their prolific prep or Link Academy. Number one team in the nation, Montverde. In our last quarterfinal, they're 30 and 0. They've beaten teams by an average of 35 points a game this season. Led by Cooper Flag, McDonald's, All-American Game MVP Derek Queen and Liam McNeely. We'll take on AC Compass. Here, PBI up by 22 early in the fourth. Paul the Six calling a timeout after a quick 5-0 burst for IMG. And Darren Harris with his first point of the fourth quarter, plus the foul. Harris with 30, and a chance for one more. Well, this was a clinic by Paul the Sixth in press offense. You get trapped, you hit the cutter, throw it ahead, and finish. You had a two-on-one at the end. Paul the Sixth called that timeout. They understood the press was coming. The tempo of the game started to change. So what happens is you got to talk about being tighter with your catches, understanding you're going to get trapped, throwing out of the trap, get to your spots, and attack. There he is, Acuff on the attack, and he draws the foul. I might count that. They will. It's a goaltend. Plus the foul, I believe, so a chance at a three-point play. Pretty sweet block by Jordan Smith. That deserves a highlight. Watch Jordan Smith just come over from the weak side. Looks like it was still going up. Well, second goaltend on Smith today, and oh, Acuff airballed the free throw. If the, the shot is still going up, it's not yeah, goaltending. Yeah, I, I hear you. They don't have the replay here in high school. I'm with you. It's one, Smith at the other end in the first half. Yes. Got it off the glass. That's one thing. Second look there. I'm with you. I think that was a block. Now Jordan Smith. Clear the runway. He's, Nobody's going to block that. <laughs> he left no doubt on that attempt, Jordan Smith. 11 for the sophomore. And Acuff puts it in the basket this time. Jordan Smith rocks the rim again. IMG not a deep team, so if you're going to press, you need more than five guys or six guys. You need eight or nine if you're going to be effective. Freeman, money. Boy, Donnie Freeman has had such a big week at the McDonald's All-American game, the practices, the game itself. Good game here today. Smith <laughs> trying to throw it down again. Got blocked by the rim, but he was fouled. Paul the sixth is in attack mode. Press offense to the finish. They are coming down two on one, three on two. Once they break the pressure, IMG's not getting back. Paul the sixth. Just trying to put the knockout punch in. ABC Saturday NHL matinee doubleheader. Lightning in Pittsburgh to take on the Penguins at 1 Eastern. Then to the very best in the East. Coach B, your bees of Boston hosting the Florida Panthers. Coverage beginning at 1230 Eastern. Love going to the Bruins games when I was a kid. Bobby Orr, Phil Esposito. You don't remember those names. You're too young. <laughs> Terry O'Reilly. <laughs> I know who you're talking about, at least. <laughs> Cole Serna trains the three. You've Ryan heard of, G. You've but heard no, of Bobby I Orr? Did, I've heard, of course I've heard of Bobby Orr. But no, I, uh, I was not around to see him live. Uh, I've seen highlights, just like kids today watching Jordan. Here's another highlight for Paul the Sixth. Isaiah Abraham, the future UConn Husky with the jam. And we're getting a technical foul. On Abraham. Did he say something? It was either something that he said or he hung on the rim. One of the two. I mean, he was excited to finish that play. Maybe a little too excited. So Cole Serta to shoot the technical free throws for IMG. Let's take another look. In a moment. Drive by Harris, drop off, finish. He's Little not hanging up. on the rim. Yeah, but he did the chin up. They pulled himself up, his legs went up, there was no one underneath. 
I'm not a fan of that call, but I understand it by rule. Yeah, Ted, understood. you got to go by yeah, the rules. I, oh yeah, you're yeah. All, you're all about the rules, aren't you? Well, you're not on the highway. You're going 85 <laughs> in a 55 mile an hour. Hey, when I anyway, hey, I am your show for a weekend and week out. I'm just trying to get you to the game on time. And I give you five stars for that. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm your Uber. <laughs> Numbers for IMG Serta. A three. I'll tell you what, Serta is going to be a really good player at Notre Dame. Allen off the steal. He rolls it home. Just give him and Sundra some time. They have Sir Muhammad coming out of North Carolina. Terrific class for the Irish. Lead down to 14. But Abraham at the rack again for Paul the sixth. Serta. Got it back, launching again, and he hits this time. I mean, he's got a deep three-point shot. He's one of my top 10 shooters in the class of 2024, Cole Serta. It's a 12-2 IMG run here, and Ben Hammond draws the foul. Remember last year in the quarterfinals, we showed the blue cane buzzer beater that helped IMG beat Prolific. IMG was up 22 in that game, lost the lead, then won it at the horn. Here, down by as many as 29, and with four and a half to go, they're within 13. They've done a nice job cutting into the lead, but they've built such a deep hole for themselves against the team that is, it's a veteran team, it's a team that has great chemistry and leadership. Uh, they're not gonna give this back. Hammond hits the first. To play for Archie Miller at Rhode Island. You know, Glenn Farello, his high school coach, told us that Archie Miller connected with Hammond right away because Archie Miller was Ben Hammond at NC State. Guy that size who had the biggest heart on the floor. And I coached against Archie Miller when he was at NC State. Small guard, tough guard, smart, never backed down from anyone else, could make threes, and this guy is the exact same thing. And Hammond, oh, I thought he was going to serve it up to Abraham. Instead, he does it himself. In fact, when I was coaching at Ohio State, we hated to play against guys like Archie Miller because they knew everything that you were going to run. He was such a smart player and a tough player. Ben Hammond, the exact same way. Hammond's got a double-double today. 16 points. Beg your pardon, now 18 to go with 10 assists. He steals as well. And, and there's never too big of a challenge for Ben Hammond. Doesn't matter the opponent, doesn't matter the size of the person he's covering, because he plays big. Look at him right now on Freeman. He's got 10 inches on him at least. Freeman missed the jumper. Allen tracking it down. Yeah, but he plays unafraid. That's what I love about him. Roots had a good first half, disappeared here in the second, but he gets the turnaround. If you're IMG, keep trapping, trying to force a turnover. Just protect the rim if you can. It's one thing to press, and you have to give up something, but you don't want to give up layups. You want to give up open threes. Uh, Kanai Roots just picked up his fourth. IMG has to force turnovers quickly and cash in. That's how they cut it from 29 down to 13 at one point. It's 15 right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you can get it to under 10, under two, or a minute and a half, you, you feel good about yourself and maybe something can happen. But you gotta get stops. You've gotta get stops and run outs and get to the free throw line if you can. Harris lit it up in the third. As Paul the sixth, content to bleed some clock here. Yeah, they're gonna bleed it right to the last three seconds. Harris matched up against Amari Allen, a four-star junior, and Harris is fouled. So three free throws for the best shooter in the gym. What's well, the shot you want them to take if you're IMG? A contested three-point shot. Every coach tells every player, don't foul a three-point shooter. So if you go straight up, you don't foul, you block out, you get the ball, you push it, momentum could change. 
This guy is 80 plus percent from the free throw line, Darren Harris. A high 38 percent three point shooter, over 45 percent from the field. Now, Harris is closing in on the Chipotle Nationals single game scoring record. Austin Rivers had 37 for Winter Park in the 2010 quarterfinals. Now, 316 to go here. Harris with 34 points. He's now tied for second with Jacoby Walter. Of course, the Baylor Bear, Big 12 Freshman of the Year, had 34 in the quarterfinals a year ago with Link Academy against Paul VI. Serta puts it in. And look out here. Officials have to step in. Amari Allen was drawing. Jordan Smith there. This is all frustration right now by IMG. And if you're Paul the Sixth, you got to walk away. You have another game tomorrow afternoon, barring a miraculous comeback. You don't want anything that's going to take into tomorrow's effect. You know, we've seen it before. Guys getting a little scuffle. Somebody gets thrown out. Now you're ejected for the next game. And Sean Macklin is wondering, okay, do, does the bucket count? Called a foul. What's the story here? And now the players head to their benches. Yeah, that bucket should count. Yeah, agreed. Again, Allen was at the line, ready to cap off the three-point play. Paul, what has impressed you the most about Darren Harris today? His self-confidence. He got off to a cold start. And now he has 34 points. Once he gets into a rhythm, you better take the shot away or it's going to go in. He scores in a variety of ways. He's known for draining jump shots. And he's calling a game right now. You know, Harris likes to joke with one of the assistant coaches at PBI, Lamar Butler, former player at George Mason. Uh, I'm the best shooter in the gym. Lamar Butler says, no, I am. No, I am. They, they have shooting contests. It's pretty well split at this point. But Harris, I'm not going against Harris. Yeah. And you know what I love about him when it comes to his intangibles? He is a determined winner. A lot of guys want to win. A lot of guys play to win. He is determined to win. And he's got great leadership, and he guards on the defensive end. I mean, he's mentally tough. You're going to Duke next year. You have to be really tough because you're going to be surrounded by all kinds of talent coming in and returning, and who knows who they're going to get in the portal. So you have to be able to fight through each and every practice. And he has that disposition. Again, think of that class coming in, including his teammate here at PBI, Patrick Gongba, the number one recruiting class in 2024. Of course, see Cooper Flagg, the number one player in the country, also going to Duke 8 Eastern here on ESPNU. So the bucket did count for Allen. Foul was after the play. Get the free throws, 93-79. Paul the six, under three to play. That was deflected, so Hammond can cross the timeline to gather. Seven to shoot. Abraham fires, and he connects. Looked like a line drive. When you have leads, you don't lose games with Ben Hammond. Cole Serta with a deep three. And IMG pressing, and PBI breaks it. And Hammond is fouled by Serta. You know, Synergy keeps track of guys' three-point shooting. Also, the distance involved. And Cole Serta is one of the deepest three-point shooters in the class. That last one was close. Ted, it looked like to me, what, what was that, about 29 feet? Logo three. It's going to bring that range to South Bend. Like a Shrewsbury called him a must-get recruit. Yeah, because they're going to him. Yeah, they're going to play with great skill. They want to space the floor. They want to open the floor with shooting. Sundra shoots it. Sir Muhammad out of Charlotte, North Carolina, just a do-it-all 6'5 specimen guard. But this kid, if you give him time and space, he's going to knock it down. 
So Hammond with 14 of his 18 points coming here in the second half to go with 13 assists. Ruth's fancy move. Two minutes to play. Now ben Hammond always wants the ball in his hands. At crunch time, at trap time, when he has to run the show, because what he does is he gets everyone involved and he gets everyone organized. He's not afraid of traps, he's not afraid of pressure. Give IMG some credit here. They, they've made it semi-competitive in the fourth quarter. After Paul the six, that built a 29-point lead. He knows how to finish games. Doesn't turn it over. Makes his free throws. Played with the likes of Deshaun Harris-Smith. Just spent his freshman year at Maryland. Doug McDaniel is at Michigan on his way to Kansas State through the transfer portal. And Ben Hammond, the next great guard, along with Darren Harris, to come out of PBI. Well, he knows what the team needs and what the coach wants. And that's so important as a point guard. Oh, look at Gong Bucket coming off foot surgery. Hustling in a game that is in hand. You love to see this if you're John Shire. 6'10, 250 pounds. First time back on the court. Wants to get down, wants to get dirty. Only way to get a loose ball, you got to jump on top of it. You can't bend over. Just don't want the football coach at Duke see that. <laughs> <laughs> he may want to use them for other ideas. <laughs> hey, after Riley Leonard left for Notre Dame, could use somebody at quarterback. Cole Servant with another three here in the fourth quarter. <laughs> Ben's going to hold it. He's going to dance with it until he's doubled. Going to play keep away. Hammond got knocked down. And Darren Harris with a capper. Paul the sixth. Who has cracked 100. They've thrown a lot of punches in this game. They just threw the knockout punch. Darren Harris. And that one was mean. That was a statement dunk, not only for this game, but for the game tomorrow afternoon in the semifinals. So Harris with 36 points now. He is alone in second place. The second most points ever scored in the 15 year history of this event. And he's on his way to Durham, part of the number one recruiting class here in 2024. We saw Cooper Flagg and Isaiah Evans in Houston at the McDonald's All-American game. Harris, Patrick Gongba, part of that class as well. Clock didn't start there here in the final minute. Short over Harris, and Darren Harris with the rebound. Well, PBI started out cold. They had a rough first quarter. IMG was terrific in the first quarter. Then the whole game changed in the second quarter. All the six made threes. Their defense started to amp up, and in the third quarter, they just blew this game wide open. And a timeout for Paul the sixth with 28.6 to go. Remember, IMG was up 11 in the first quarter. Paul the six took a six-point halftime lead, and they outscored IMG 36 to 13 in the third to blow it open. PVI will move on 
to the semifinals to play either Prolific Prep or Link Academy. Now, that game comes your way at 6 Eastern here on ESPNU. Our next quarterfinal at 4 Eastern, the 4-5 matchup, Long Island Lutheran with top five player VJ Edgecombe signed with Baylor against the five seed Columbus from Miami with the Boozer Twins. You know, when you look at Paul the Six, they had everyone back from last season, so there's great cohesiveness with this team. As we talked about earlier, most of their guys played for team takeover, so the chemistry on the court over the last couple of years can beat teams that are sometimes maybe more talented. When you look at the IMGs and you look at the Link Academies, they have new teams just about every year. That could be the difference in Chipotle Nationals down the stretch. Shot blocked out of bounds by O'Keefe. You know, Columbus, same thing. Everybody back for Columbus from last season. And Columbus making their first ever Chipotle Nationals appearance. Three time state champions in Florida Class 7A. This ball. Olivier Ryu is in here at the end for IMG. At 7 7, the world's tallest teenager, sort of the run out. Yeah, number zero in white. Headed to Florida, the native of Montreal, getting on the floor here in the final seconds. But today belongs to Darren Harris and Paul the Sixth. 36 from the future Duke Blue Devil. And a 101 to 89 win for PBI over IMG. Darren Harris in the second quarter got hot. Kept looking for his shots. He made it off the catch. He made it off the bounce. But he showed his leadership. You know, he showed his determination to win this game. His teammates did a terrific job of finding him when he was open. He can bring the ball up the floor. Anywhere on the court, Darren Harris can score. And their defense, Paul the Sixth, it picked up in the second quarter. I'll tell you what, they looked very impressive. Check out Darren Harris. The clinic that he put on coming off the baseline screen, the catch and shoot. Preparation is outstanding. He is into his shot with a high release. Great rotation. Get him in the open floor. He's got bounce to finish. It's good size at 6'5. And plays the game with supreme confidence. And our next quarterfinal features the four seed Lou High, the five seed Columbus from Miami. Yes, Cameron Boozer, the number two player in the junior class, son of Carlos Boozer, and VJ Edgecombe of Long Island Lutheran, top five player in the senior class. What are you most looking forward to in our next matchup? Well, I love the matchup between Caden Boozer and V.J. Edgecombe, Cameron's brother. Now, Cameron, he's a low to handle, but can Caden Boozer, he'll have to defend V.J. Edgecombe, one of the best athletes in the class, a three-level scorer. Keep an eye on Kyan Anthony, the son of Carmelo Anthony, to maybe be an X-factor off the bench in that game. Again, the PVI Panthers from our nation's capital will match up with either Prolific Prep or Link Academy, that quarterfinal at 6 Eastern here on ESPNU. Up next, Lujai and Columbus. And the night ends with the top seed, Montverde, at 30-0, trying to beat AZ Compass for the second time this season. Darren Harris lights it up in our first boys quarterfinal. PBI on to the semis. Hope you can join us at 4 Eastern. For now, so long from Brownsburg.